All right, we're pulling up to the shop. Everywhere, walking equipment. We got it up to the shop at least. Andreas has the John Deere in here. We're gonna start working on some shit. Working on this 7600. This is like a yearly thing. Something's broken on this tractor. But uh, I guess this time, this time, well this thing has 13,000 hours, almost 14,000. It is on its third transmission, but still original engine. Anyways, this is not reading, so it won't dry. We do have this up here. I was recording earlier when my battery was junk. I forgot to change it. But uh, so we got some parts. John Deere has some of the parts for that 76. We're gonna throw those in what they got. Maybe it fixes it because we don't have a definitive answer on what of the two electrical parts that are in there it could be. But they have one in stock that's known to go, so we're gonna change that first. Um, and we just did the water pump on the payloader, but I forgot I had the GoPro up here. And now we're gonna work on why the 1086 went out of commission for the manure spreading. Um, the squeezer, that thing right there, it loosened up. And then the tire just slammed in. He was coming back from uh, the other farm and he lost, well, drive on this side. So it was all the torque was going to the easiest differential. And no, that end. if you squeeze the brake, you could drive. Yeah. But, but the, with the dual, the tire goes in, and if there's no dual on it, the tire falls off. We had it both ways. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've had that left tire. No, it was this side. I guess this tire fell off by pine cone on Phillip years ago. What well, must be 18, 20 years ago. A long time ago. Anyways, the tire was over by pine cone. And uh, this side, uh, the tire came in because it didn't come off there. It, the clamps somehow it just all loosened up and it's it happened to gerhardt right over here uh it just slammed up luckily he had the doors open too for the ac system and uh because that's yeah. how they work on these things I put a new thing on it. It's so i guess we gotta work on the 62 now uh, just the, the ground cable is no that's the ground i think we need a new floor panel i see 20 something thousand hours on this thing. Oh, maybe it is positive. Yep, it is the ground. Corrosion. We'll fix it later. Today. He said later. <laughs> Professional. Tell me that ain't fucking talent. No. <laughs> Just luck. Look at that shit show. Looks rough. We might have to get the other one. Son of a biatch. So we have a burnt 1086 because we had a big shed fire. That was 12, 12 15 years ago. Hard to remember when. We've had a few fires over the years. They're never fun. Um, but we lost a, a lot of equipment in that one, actually. And all our spare tires. We used to have a... Well, a trailer load, like a box trailer, full of spare tires for the farm. Mm. Yeah, this one is fucked. We better put a new. Christoph started this up and uh, drove it forwards a little bit. That is a unique scraper. Right. But. There used to be, we had a nut welded right here on the outside so it would never fall off on us again and then they welded one on the inside too but clearly the inside one sheared off but we'll have to uh get the other one of these that we have from the other a6 well, over the years we've pulled parts off of it but there isn't many parts on it that are still good oh you got whole axles yeah, we have that, and we have, we pulled the PTO out of it. We pulled front end parts off of it already. So, Pumps? Think they're not fried? No, I took them off. Oh, okay. I going to say, by now it's junk. 
least the axle. All right. Well, this is our uh, 1086. We used to run side by side these two things back in the day. They used to be the big dogs. <laughs> long time ago. Back in the day. And well, this is. The yeah, the white. This has a different squeeze than the other one. No, that's the one. It just has a lock and collar. Okay. Squeeze on the bottom. All right. Well, this was actually the cause. Uh, there used to be a lean-to kind of a slanted shed here. This is gonna be a fucking bitch. Um, how big was this? Like 40 feet by 60? Yeah, something like that. Something like, it was kind of weird shape. But uh, this used to be parked in here. If I die, let me know. If I die. Um, with the bale grinder, because back in the day we used to do a lot of bale grinding. And the plug-in caught on fire on it. Either a cord was bad or something and it happened in the middle of the night. No, it was right down. Mm, a little bit after four o'clock because that was four in the morning. Oh yeah, Kristoff yeah. was plowing snow was already. Plowing snow. He left at three something. We had, we had a shit of snow that day. I even plowed the main road to the fire department. Not the main road, but the one uh, Marvin, Marvin Road. So that way uh fire department could actually make it to the farm. Yeah. And then the the worst part of this whole fire was we have the high voltage power lines that were right above it. That was the worst part of it all. But clearly we gotta go get the breaker bar. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe the torches. We went and grabbed the breaker bar because uh, that gun with the uh, extension just wasn't cutting it. And we didn't want to strip it being on sideways. Christoph took that wedge bracket off, not wedge bracket, a holding bracket so it wouldn't drop like how the other one did. And then the breaker bar actually opened this thing very easily. You saw that. Um, use the gun now. He did break it already before that right there, but he was just going a little bit more. And now the gun should take it off. That is nice. We grabbed the torches because we figured we'd need it. I thought so, yeah. But yeah. that didn't last long. You got some lube? No, I Spit don't. on it. It's in the pickup. <laughs> didn't even rec I didn't record the good stuff. He nah. beat that bolt with a hammer. Look at that little guy. That wedge looks good. Well, better than the one we got. Right. Yep, you're doing great. You know what he doesn't have? He doesn't have the big hammer. He's a so, sludge hammer. It needs a Not sludge hammer. Loader. Yeah, he does need it. Tap it. Hit it with the skid steer. I could've, I could've. So what we did, because we didn't want to waste any good blocks or jack stands, oh. we got an old rim from the tire pile, right. and we Put that sucker vertical. I so guess I can just tap it with a skid steer, hopefully. Yep. He up. No. Don't want to hit by that. I gotta move all this. Um. So this 1086, we could always tell them apart back in the. I'm trying to pick shit up. We could always tell them apart back in the day. Oh sorry. You need the skid steer? No. Way we tell them apart is this one had this white like brush guard. He's gonna whack this. Wedge out before you did that. So that just. Now we gotta go digging for that. Now he's gonna hit You might need the payloader. We'll just have to tighten it on and just beat it from the back. I was hoping it just. So the wedge fell in here somewhere. Right. Now we got lots of lime. Oh, he's injured. I found it. To tell you we didn't look for five, ten minutes right. would be a lie. Because we it was lost. Okay, um, we'll stick this on, we'll be thread it on there, and I can beat it from the back. Kind of how he beat that one out. Yeah, I'll beat that one out. He, uh, he's gonna beat this one this way. Okay, try it, tighten it a little bit. I forget that the camera. Is he grabbing? Oh, oh, I think I gotta turn it on. Put 
put it on upside down. Here, let me no, take that. It's definitely not upside down. Start it with my fingers. Okay. Good? Yeah. You going? Alright, oh, back it up a little bit. Get it's full thread. Okay. Now Christoph's gonna beat it with a, his mini hammer. You sucker! I'm giving a shit. He went to McDonald's and they gave him a free Oreo McFlurry. What'd you do? Oh. He didn't even record it. I didn't even have to pay for my stuff. I didn't give me a I don't happen off. That don't happen often. He didn't even record him beating this. I had a hair. Yeah, once I got it, one hit. I had a haircut appointment, so I had to leave. Then Christoph helped with some cattle moving with Gerhard. So about an hour or so later from the last recording, yeah. all he did was beat the shit out of it with a bobcat. No, you sludge him. Oh. There's all sludge him. All gets sick. All right, you want to hop in it? I'll pull it back. You got lift it when I when you when we back yeah. up. Fuck his head. No. Yeah, drop it on your toes. Up, up, up. Just lift with the knees. Good block we got there, nice rim. Alrighty. We'll load everything up. Oh, this looks good. That's good. We still got two good axles out of it. I'm gonna say the axles, there's a little bit more front end parts. Maybe you think this front end's tighter than the other one? Maybe. I know the other one, you have about a third steering play. We have a drawbar still. There's not much parts left on it. We've I mean there is, but not that we're really gonna use. Mission. I guess that we got a, a good TA. A good, TA is not old on We do need to pull that TA because this is only two years old TA. Technically torque be amplifier for people that don't know what a TA is. It is it's either just the lever is bad in the other one or the TA is bad in the other one. He's doing great. I guess we don't really use it. We got the 60, Christoph pulled. Well, the window's dirty, but it's back there, the tire. Tires. So he's pulling out all the stuff from here. And the plan is for me just to line it up and pop it on. Okay, I'm gonna shut it off. He didn't clean it good enough when he took it off. And that C channel thing, that will prevent it from We don't, well maybe. I thought it was for the, uh, so when it, if it does loosen up, it doesn't fall. But, could be wrong. So it looks pretty. That's Christoph's key. This is why I don't have to hold it. This fucking thing is heavier enough. Flatten it a little bit, maybe. Oh. One second. Pick it up. Oh, I did. Well, oh, up, up, up. Holy fuck! That was not. Well, I can tell you the skids here. Uh, oh, no. Back it up. Wow, fuck me. I wanted just to put it on. No, but you were way on. Alright, they're all way too low. Back up. Level F. Sorry. Stay there, back up.
bit. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Down. Took my way a little bit. Yeah. A little bit more, maybe. So we didn't kill Kristoff, but we did almost take out some toes. Okay, yeah, that's good. I guess we'll. This side is a lot farther out. Son of a biatch. <clears throat> but we don't have to be that quite that far out either. No. We'll pull it back maybe an inch. Not too much. We wire wheeled everything. Put it back to where it was. We're not gonna stick this side out as far as that side because I think it'll be too wide to fit in the shop. And uh, this it's side, anyway. this side, for some reason, when the tire fell off and we put it back on, um, just never lined that up correctly. But it doesn't really bother us. It sits on a ship pump. Christoph's torquing that to spec. Hey, no questions asked. And then uh, yeah, we should be a, it'll be a process to get that hub assembly out. Probably have to get duels out. Probably. I mean, we have to pop the snap rings. Maybe the duel wouldn't pop off the ring. But. It's fucking hot. Look at him go. She's got me. Tight. Tight. Should have put some oil on there so it went together easier. <laughs> you haven't heard Kristoff grunt like this in a long time. I've been grunting all day. <laughs> <laughs> so this was the old wedge. And we really... He didn't drive very much with it like no. that. Because um, it kind of just started going that went way. went quick. Went to the right quick, so... Not many rotations, but it really doesn't take a lot to start wearing it out because this is a, a love tap this is there. cast housing, and then uh, this is just a steel, maybe a cast steel wedge plate or yeah, just. Cast. Um, and uh, it doesn't take long oh, well. to to wear. I think I move. I saw it move. I thought so too. Oh yeah, that's moving. Right. Do a little. Oh, that bitch is hey. moving. Hey, keep it PG 13 at least. PG would be too much. Look at this. This loses a goose. I probably put this thing on back on there. Like. Is that beating some more? Just went around beating it while he was tightening. For quite a while. <laughs> probably a couple minutes and it just kept going and going but it wasn't like he was stripping the threads because he wasn't sucking with it forcing it together i was just tapping it and we saw it going and you keep keeping it tight that should not open anymore um we'll put that whatever i don't even know what the hell that does Somebody will know. someone's gonna comment that, that worked on the international assembly line that i don't even know that watches these videos <laughs> Which, I mean, it's not a bad thing, but it's just funny. Um, see, sometimes brute force. I just want to get this nut. I don't know why that thing popped up. I popped all the snap on. You didn't die. <laughs> I didn't die. Well, if anyone's wondering if our forks are worn out, our forks are worn out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like how you put your hands up. You were going to stop them. I know. Luckily, those forks didn't come in the cab. That was close. Any moment, something can go wrong.
We're gonna do a round two on this. So the only thing we don't want to do is hit that valve stem. I want you to touch um, We gotta pop it apart because the rim, this rim was clamped onto that hub. Going? Don't bend it too much. Oh, it's going. The wrong one, what the hell? Well, it actually might be nice because then we won't break the valve stem putting it back together. Holy crap. I'm holding this. Actually, we can flip it. Behind it, no. Is this one soft? I was just thinking that. Maybe not flat, flat, but soft. I'm gonna say these tires on this thing are weather cracked. So yeah, that no, you see this one, it, has duels on it. it has duels on it, and uh, that tube sticking out. But there must only be like five pounds of air in this thing. That's a master at work, Richie. He's wiggling. What sucks is all these fuckers that we gotta do by hand. Yep. I don't know. I'll go find a wrench. Save on the valve stem. Where is that thing? I got that all out. Um, on the side right here. Oh, oh. I'll hold it. Yep. Okay, I got this. Take that thing away. Easy, all our bolts are there. We need them. So yeah, I'm holding this with one hand. He's gonna get rid of that junk. Don't hit Getchout's car, she just came. So yeah. I would kick those out of the way, but I really don't want to drop this right now. We, we just, we found out that's a loaded chloride tire. For two. Christoph said, "Hopefully, we don't kill each other." Well, we're 0 for two so far. I almost took his leg, took his legs out, and he almost killed himself with the forks. So we got three of these on, and we have it where we we put them on, and we turn this rim so it's on top. And we're gonna try to line it up in the same holding marks as you can see where they are. That way, uh, with what we have, it goes back on. So we're gonna try not to kill ourselves. Put that bobcat on. That's the problem. The bobcat holds the hydraulics, but the 60s a lot smoother. So you can't go up so much. Down. Oh. Oh. Uh, maybe I won't put the camera right here. I'll lose my camera. It'll get smashed. Pop it and then turn it. Wait, why 
watch it. Oh, we are close. We got a... So we're right there. We just gotta pop it. You gotta go more up still. Why? Yeah, it was good and then I let go to grab the camera. Okay. And it came out a little. Oh, it did come out the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I just, where that fuck is gonna go forwards and it's gonna hit that goddamn roster. Well, if you do that, it's going to. I know. Oh, you bitch. More? No. I left the jack down. Okay. No. Maybe let it down just a little bit more. I know what you wanted to say right there. I know. Oh, uh, PG. They really like looking at your shoulder. That's okay. So, a little bit more maybe. And then you gotta turn it still. Oh, I couldn't just start it and back up. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> yep, yeah, that'll get cut out. Back up. Kind of lift it on this side is perfect we just gotta pop it up on this side now if i hold it here while you lift that side it was a bar with a i don't know oh, i can get it We have to pull the bottom out, the bottom out. That way it has room. Let me get a bar and we'll just pull the bottom out. I almost killed myself twice today. <laughs> Forks in my fashion cabini in the car. Alright. Forks in my fashion cabini in the car. Chris, I was just talking to our dad. Um, so he's got a pipe. He's going to try popping that bottom out while I'm holding the top in. just pull back. A tiny bit. Oh fuck me that hurt. Are you gonna make it today? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. You gonna make it? No. No. My fingernails hurt. The key's broken. You gotta I use. Got no one here just to put it, in. it has half a key in it. The operator decided to snap the key off. It broke three in like a couple days. Yeah, we have three case keys broken within one week. It's no, ridiculous. I don't feel bad. No, it's ridiculous. You, get, you need to turn it to the right. All right. Turn the bottom forwards. Well, you're turning the whole axle for some reason. Yeah. I gotta lift it up. We're too low now. Because when he pulled it out, it lifted this. So now I gotta raise the tractor back up. going I'm lifting it up we gotta roll this rim yeah but I wanted to get off the ground just a little bit I don't think it'll take much after this once we get it off the ground as long as I can get back behind this getting those wedges in is gonna suck well you're not popped in right where's the back so oh, there she goes you hear that there you go like a Mario. Mario. A Mario. Alright, so we got lined up. Right. Holes are lining up where they used to be. Right? Not bad. We'll pop this girl back. This bolt has to come this out one. and that one. 
But other than that, because the two tractors were lined up a little bit different with how they had them, but I'm trying to set it up for this rim with the, with the other hub because clean the bolts. where the dirt markings were, or rust markings. We'll clean up the bolts and put it together. Slap the dual back on, that's wore out. That is the definition of dairy farming. Oh. Running it to the end of the life. It's literally still holding air, so it's gonna go back on. We got this shit show. Put on. I got the wedges in with 30, 30 repeats. Christoph stopped for 30 seconds. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, I was explaining what we were doing. Yeah. He was prying the rim down a little bit and I was popping the wedges in from the back. Yeah. I'm working on shit no one wants to see. Exactly. But it's still got to get done. Yeah. But Christoph now can proceed. Well, thank you. <laughs> All we got to do is finish going through it one more time and tightening, but it's 8.40 at night. And it's been a long day. So we're going to call it a quits. And I did have a chair so I could sit when I was taking a shit. Yeah, he needs to give those legs a break for once. <laughs> but uh, we got to clean up here and we got to put a new terminal on the ground side. We're going to do that real quick. That way this starts. This tire, this is a fully loaded rubber tire. It's got a little bit more life in it because the tire hasn't fell, fallen off yet. So we're good there. Um, but yeah, tomorrow. We'll tomorrow we're gonna slap this dual on and then this tractor can go back on the pump. So I gotta say thanks for watching. I'll close you out with Christos' uh, rear end. <laughs> thanks for watching, till the next one.